Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you probably know for this week's video, I'm going to be testing Tasty's most viral cookie recipe to see if it's actually as good as they say it is. Now in the title, it says how to make the perfect cookie and I'll be testing if these cookies are actually perfect. If you haven't seen Tasty's video already, at the beginning of the video, they basically just test out all the different variants of ingredients that they could have used and just prove like why it's the best cookie. Let's see if they've actually cracked it and they've made the best cookie. Now I've made many cookies in my lifetimes. I love baking, so I've made many cookies. So I'll be able to actually compare it to like other cookies I've made and stuff like that. So that being said, make sure to leave a big thumbs up if you enjoy and subscribe to my channel down below with the bell notifications on so you never miss another one of my videos. That all being said, let's just get straight into it. The first step in the recipe is to sieve all of the dry ingredients. So starting off with one cup of bread flour, as it says in the recipe. Now here we call this strong flour, because I was very confused what bread flour was. And that's like one of the unusual things about the recipe. They said that the bread flour should make it more chewy. So they mixed bread flour and all purpose. So, so I'll start off with the bread flour. Then you need three quarters of a cup of plain flour. So next we'll need one teaspoon of baking soda and a sprinkle of salt. Now, it says to make brown butter, and that was almost the absolute death of me because I was busy filming this bit and I had it like bubbling over there and then suddenly all of the bubbles came up the top and I was so worried that it was burnt, but I don't think it is. I've never made brown butter before like at all, so I have no idea. But I've just put it in a jug to set aside until it's cool. So, so now we'll just do the sugars. So here I have one cup of dark brown sugar, I'm just going to put that in, and half a cup of caster sugar. So next we add in the vanilla, and you're supposed to add in espresso powder, but I'm actually not going to do that, so I just skipped a small step. Now speaking of the brown butter, this is what it looks like. I have to add a little bit of water to make it back up, and it has some kind of lumpy bits at the bottom, but I think that's what they said is fine in the video. I'm just going to add and then you're just supposed to beat that until it's nice and creamy. Now already mine looks a bit different, but I said in the video uh, if it does look a bit greasy, that just means the butter was a little bit more on the hotter side. Now the next step is to add, oh perfect, I think that piece you left, is to add one whole egg and one egg yolk. And I've seen this done before, so this isn't anything new. So one egg in there, and then... And then one egg yolk. And then we just mix that again. Okay. And then pretty much the final step is just to add the flour in a third at a time. Oh, this looks perfect. This is like a caramel. Obviously, it's not cookie dough yet, but look how caramelly it is. Okay, goes the second third. I'm just eyeballing this. And then finally, the last third of the flour. Um, they say not to completely mix this last bit of the flour in because you'll be folding in the chocolate chips and chunks later. So I'm going to do exactly what they say. Okay, 
Okay, I've left a little bit of flour on the edges to fold in the chocolate chips. So we are now done with the mixer. Mm -hmm. Okay, next we have to add in the chocolate chips. So it's half a cup of milk chocolate chips and then it's five ounces of dark chocolate chunks. So I basically just got a chocolate bar and cut it up. And then we just have to fold that in. So this is what the cookie dough looks like completely finished. It looks very nice. And I'm just gonna get these ready on parchment paper. So this recipe actually makes a lot of cookies. So I have these three trays and I froze half of it. So I got like a ball of cookie dough and just put a cling film over it and just put it in the freezer. So here are my trays. I had them in the fridge just for a quick second. And I'm baking these at 180 degrees Celsius for 12 to 14 minutes. And I'll see you guys when they're all cooked. back with the cookies it looks pitch black outside because the clocks went back and i promise you it's quarter to six and it looks about midnight anyway um i had a couple of things to do so i just made sure that these were like really cool and this is the testing portion so i'm gonna pick out the nicest one i think this is the nicest one okay well first of all we can like see the chocolate chunks there I feel like they look quite nice on them instead of just the chocolate chips because ch the chocolate chips seem to kind of disappear into the cookie but we can see like the chocolate chunks are quite like visible there so obviously the most important thing is the taste test they're really nice definitely one of the better cookies i've had I like when they're kind of on the thinner side and it's like very like chewy on the inside. I haven't tried the outside bit, but like it's very chewy on the inside because I don't like when they're like thick and chewy because then it's quite like doughy, but I feel like these are pretty nice. I usually make kind of smaller like biscuit sized cookies, but this is kind of like it's always kind of like a melt in your mouth kind of cookie. And I can definitely taste um, like a difference with the butter. I can almost like taste the brown butter, if that makes sense. It tastes very like buttery almost, like not in a bad way. Like I don't like butter on bread or anything, but it tastes quite buttery, I guess. And like usually I feel like it just tastes like sweet and cookie. They are very nice. One of the better cookies I have had, definitely. Um, oh, it's a nice, like it's not like crisp or anything. It's like really soft on the inside. It has a very nice colour. I feel like it's kind of hard to know when they're cooked, but because of the like dark brown sugar and the like brown butter and everything, it's quite like a caramel colour. I definitely would try like these cookies if you're thinking of trying a cookie recipe. And um, they are quite perfect, apart from them kind of joining together, which is more my thought. Like as you can see, they're a little bit joined together. But with a knife, I just kind of separated them and they still look pretty perfect. And I used just like random kind of, I rolled them up and just like did it randomly and they all look pretty even, I want to say. Like they spread out like nicely. And they have like, I know it's like, it's kind of hard to explain. They're very like hard on the outside. That sounds like ASMR. <laughs> yeah, it's very hard on the outside and then nice and chewy on the inside. Let me know if you want me to try any other like tasty, perfect, any like baked goods, whatever. Just let me know in the comments. And that's kind of it for today's video, guys. I would give them like a 10 out of 10. They were really, really nice. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And subscribe down below with the bell notifications on so you never miss another one of my videos. As you know, I link my recent videos in the description box. So if you want to check them out, feel free to. Also, comment down below any video ideas that you have in the comment section down below so I know what kind of content you guys look for. And I'll hope to see you next week for a brand new video. Bye.